Hello and welcome to Victory Point Gaming for a two-player game of Ark Nova today against Castius. As we can see we have Reptiles, Asia and Australia. Naturalist or Research. Cable car could be useful here. I guess a size one and then across like this. Cable car not the best candidate for this bonus, to be honest. Can just play like that, which is quite effective. Guess we're going to keep this, that's pretty good. Big old Asian thing there, I'm not sure if that's what we want. Maybe the cable car, maybe this in the absence of anything better. This is reputation, but it's kind of hard to play. I, uh, you know what, we'll take that one actually. Right, cable car, how do we make that work? What we could do is build a size 5, putting the kiosk here Can and address the uh, elephant do... in the room. <laughs> yes. We can address the elephant in the room, self so stealing. <laughs> the idea of building size 5 here is not for the elephant. It's the, so that we can put down a kiosk here and allow us to go like this with the with a special doodad. It is probably not correct though. There may be better ways to do it. We have some decent stuff, so maybe hand size. If we don't get hand size, we can work around. It's not an issue. Elephant, a mammal of the order Proboscidea, having a trunk and two large ivory tusks jutting from the upper jaw. I see. So we have no reason to build anything other than the size two next. We still have the ability to take hand size. Because of that, we will take hand size. This can come eventually, Australia. Like, it's no rush for that. Get that done, that pushes build up. So what I'm thinking here, build a size 2 here. Allowing us to play the cable car for free. Well, the 6 cash. And then that's pretty close to us being done. Not really optimal, but it lets us get the, across this map quite fast. Kiosk here is okay, I guess that's where the kiosk is going. Alright, should we do our size 2? May as well. And it's still not associated. Get the cable car down for free. Let's have a little look at what they're doing. Built another size 1. Okay. So now, should we get ourselves a size 2, size 1, something like that? We could put a kiosk. And another kiosk. That's a bit of a problem with this kiosk. It would be touching two things immediately, but A, it's going to draw a card, which you don't necessarily want, and B, it's going to make our kiosks in general worse. Here would probably be a better place, so we can put one here. Put one maybe here. They still haven't used their worker, so... We should probably break their way of a hand size. How brutal do we want to be to this person who hasn't played the game before? Have they really not played the game before? Maybe we don't want to be that brutal. We'll be we'll be a little bit kind. Right, so um if we build here. It's not ideal. We'd be, we'd prefer to build a size three, but we can't do that right now. Can't play an animal. I guess sponsoring is. Well, I guess we sponsor. I mean, I'm not trying to screw anyone over, but. Carding was fine. It didn't really make sense. Can't play an animal. Can't associate. Build this up right at the bottom. Realistically, playing a sponsor was fine. The sooner we can associate to get an upgrade build, the better, really.
we probably need to change our settings so that we're not playing against people who have not played the game at all. Realistically, that's probably pushing it, really. Going to associate now, though, what they're doing. Taking a handshake, okay. In that case, I'm just going to card. Is there anything we'd like to take? I'd like to find another reptile. Another reptile would be fine. Well, we could snap this. I think we just draw from the top, looking for a, an easy reptile. That's a pretty good card. We can discard this one safely, I would say. Can go ahead and associate here. Gives us an upgrade. Can upgrade build and then finish out doing ice cream parlor things. So goal in this game, as it has been for the last few days, is to try to get this worker. Kind of ASAP. To alleviate the need for getting worker here or getting worker here. So what we don't want is to take this and we don't want to take this. In an ideal world, that's preferable. If we want to do that, we're going to require a little bit of support. Like... The fact that we're likely to get both universities here without any blocking means that we've got a fairly good chance of doing that. New World Monkeys is uncharacteristically good right now. One appeal for every connected spot with a placement bonus. That would be right now one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the best I've ever seen New World Monkeys, to be honest. Even now, it's not worth snap. It's definitely not worth snapping. It's noteworthy, just to even that it's even playable. I think this is legit one of the worst cards in the game. What's happening here? A Scarlet McCaw, okay. That is pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. Let's go ahead and take this one. Just gonna push this up, get us some uh, guard upgrade, we'll get build. Get association to go down. Animals still not really viable. Well, we could animals now, but um, we're probably going to go ahead and do something else first. Could potentially build. We have the X token to play this down so we could actually play this creature as part of our animal's action, which is not unreasonable given that we are a little bit struggling to find things to play. We could draw this if we wanted to. I mean, it's playable. We should be associating next round for something. What? I don't know. I guess geological. Yeah, we'll take geological and associate that next round. Go ahead and build. So, we'd like a size one. We would like something here. We could build a size five here. Put the kiosk here and then put the other kiosk somewhere else and that would go ahead and finish our zoo however size five is that really what we want to do we're not going to play this elephant yet probably no would and like at the very least to cover this where's a good kiosk spot i guess like this is the way we want to do it so kiosk is going to go here so one here. 
we'll actually build one. Wait. Like that maybe. Could be better, but it'll do. We'll put a like that to get our last kiosk. Go down there. Hello, Lance. Good morning to you. How are you doing? We'll take geological so we've got something to associate next round. And we'd like a size one because we have various small creatures. So I think we are probably happy enough to just take an egg token or something. Big next to water, size one next to water, sure, or just an X. We're... Yeah, we'll grab an X in case we need one, I guess. We have an X token, but we might spend it. Actually, disregard that. I'd like this reputation. That's going to give me my second upgrade, which is really nice. Upgrading animals right now would be nice. I know, dude. Happened to me. I played BDW um, at some point on stream. And they finished the game in 27 turns. But it's cool because we got chatting to like the number two Arknova player. But yeah, you play against those strong players. They do not stick around, mess around. They just play ultra fast. Lance is saying that they're doing well. They played a game against a 400 rep player that finished the game in 27 turns. Lol. <laughs> I know, right? Pretty rapid stuff happening there. What we could do here is play experts in Australia. Problem with experts in Australia is we don't really have anything to pouch. I guess what we can do is play this one, and well, this one costs us 16. If we play that, we're not going to be able to play anything else, but it's an Australian thing, and it's good in that sense, so let's just play it, I guess. Cool. Just play that one down. Can now do Expert Aussie. Might pouch this. Not certain that we're going to do that. We may. I'm not entirely convinced it's worthwhile. What's going to happen here? Will it be a break? No. Mm, yeah, I may pouch this. We can start making some good progress in Australia. Alternatives. Pouch the elephant. Elephants to Asia tags probably don't do that. We could pouch this realistically. Yeah, we probably should. Pouching this is... Could end up being bad. This is fine, I guess. Alright. Because four reptiles is pretty nice. If we can get to four, we'd be happy with it. So we have... Two Australia tags now. Got another easy-ish one coming. Anything exciting on this row? Asia, reptiles, and Australia. I'm not saying it, we could cards here. We are pretty close to getting the worker for free on the rep track. We can find a reputation creature that will be good. What we could potentially do is associate for reputation. It's not the best, but it is an option. 
let's have a look and see if we can find a creature that's it's going to give us a bit of rep. This owl is not really playable. Hmm. Not amazing. Probably not going to use this. Not a bad card. Eight of nine. Do we need build at the moment, or are we happy without? Don't even really need to. We could just sponsors. Breeding co-op, we probably don't actually need. Could be very nice, trying to finish off Asia, though. So if we break, what are we getting rid of? Not geological, clearly. Breaking, not that good for us. Is there anything productive we can do that's not breaking? Showing another card, not the best, honestly. Can't play anything, I guess we just break. And we're gonna have to get rid of a card. Not sure what yet. Probably just the Martin. Martin's a nice cheap Asia icon, that said. Hmm, I guess we're getting rid of co-op. I don't know if we are going to be able to play that. I wonder if that was a mistake. Because we're going to want Asia handshake and we're going to want Australia. So where does that leave the adder? I'm not sure. Not sure about that, actually. That was a bit of a suspicious move. I guess we can wait a little longer for... the second worker. Wait animals at five twice th twice this round. This will do that. Geological, I guess. Alright, we're well, having money. Money, pouches, not bad, but not just yet for pouches. Let's just take cash for now. Can I get an upgrade? In fact, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna get an upgrade. The last upgrade is not gonna come for a while. Cards is fine. No reason to do anything too radical there. Free range monkeys already getting worse. Free range monkeys only gives us four now. It was good for about one turn when it was nowhere in range. Now it's just terrible. So whatever we do here, we need to make sure we're animals at five. With the build action, probably have enough kiosks now. I'm liking the look of a size two just like this, so that touches both kiosks. Other than that, saving a size five up here for the elephant, so we'll mark that off. Put a size 2 here, so that touches both kiosks. Probably can have um, something here. Generally looking for rocky things, obviously. Um, grabbing this money is fine as well. 
Size two. Yeah, just a bit of a general build then, I guess. Cool, ready to animals, 28 money. We can play a few things. Play this and this, perhaps. Could go with Hunter first and see if we draw anything interesting. Snowy Owl's a very nice creature. A little bit hard to play in this spot. Our income is looking fine. If we could get three conservation points, that would take us here, give us the reputation bonus, that'd be pretty nice. Go ahead and animals here, play the small thing first. Put it next to the kiosk, sure. It's an Azure icon. See if we can draw a card. Yes, but we don't really want that. We'll play this one down, make sure it touches both kiosks, and we can pouch that one. Right, I want to draw a whole load of cards here. I'd like to do this soon. It's not going to be any time right now. But we're going to get the pouches on the go at some point in time. Uh, yeah, we'll get the pouches on the go at some point soon. Ibex goes down. Unlucky for us, really. We would like to have got the Ibex. The double rock is amazing with cable car. It's one of our best cards that we were looking to see. Unfortunately, we don't actually get the Ibex in this case. Here, we don't actually mind doing a big old sponsors. Probably don't want to do it right now. Although it's going to give us more access to more interesting things. Is the archaeologist something we might be interested in? Playing the Archaeologist means this would give us the reputation, and that's kind of good. So we could snap the Archaeologist, play it, potentially get another association this round. That's appealing to me. The downside of that plan is it's using all of our draw for the turn. What we could alternatively do is just to go ahead and sponsor us to end the round, then that will be in our range. Seems reasonable. Then we can go ahead and just draw the archaeologist as one of four cards as opposed to by itself. Seems like considerably better to do it that way round. Our opponent still hasn't upgraded any cards, and in fact they have to discard a card. We have double their income already. So Lance, would you be interested in playing some marine worlds after this? I don't know if you are available to do something um, soon? If so, that would be good. Yes and yes. Awesome. Oh, great. Yeah. So get yourself set up on Tabletop Simulator. I'll have to add you on Steam, but we can do that. Like, the whole process is going to be a little bit... 
complicated and it'll take time, but that's fine, like, we're gonna manage, aren't we? So, blue takes a university. And if I'm not mistaken, that's their second association. They've got, oh no, it's their third. They have three things now, very good. We're going to go ahead and draw this and some other stuff. I reckon we want this one and that's it. So we'll just draw some various stuff off the top. Hopefully, a reptile or something. No worries, we all figure it out together. Discard a card. I really don't like Victory Column. You gain one appeal for playing it. At the end, you gain one appeal. You gain an appeal in every income. How many? We've had two breaks already. Meh. I'm more likely to play this thing than that, and that's saying a lot. Alright. Kind of tempted to play down the archaeologist right here and then build. Play the archaeologist right now and research even. That also works as a line. To be fair. I don't hate that. Let's play down this archaeologist. It's only going to give us one boat. Well, it's not really worth it. <laughs> That's funny. Right, I think. The only way we can grab pouches right now is to actually do this this way. So sponsors for four play the archaeologist and then do research. Our opponent doing over there. They have a couple of microscopes. Since they have a couple of microscopes, I wonder why they started with this one. I guess what we're going to do is do a build here. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah. What I'm going to do is... Put a couple of little things down. I'd like to take this bonus, gaining a reputation. Worker. And I'd also like to draw a card. If we grab another card here, something we can use that as pouching material when we associate. So I'm thinking of doing. Well, which is the most scary card? The fact that they took two microscopes makes me wonder what they're up to. 
I don't find I don't particularly care for that card. I don't I don't really rate it as being that scary. So I guess maybe the owl is kind of strong. Even if they do want to take advantage of the this card is gonna require more work. And like I say, I don't really rate it that highly. I'm gonna do research now and we're gonna pouch some things, probably these two. Managed to make it to here on the track without taking out of those workers, which was the goal. We'll do research now. And Admittedly, this is maybe going to be good for our opponent, but... We're going to be accelerating really fast here. We have money with pouches. Things, things are looking pretty good. Right, we'd like to do some more drawing of cards for pouching purposes. So, nothing we can animals right now is there. So for that reason, I'm considering drawing five. Well, keeping three, yeah, we'll keep three. Nothing here I actually want, right? Probably not, but let's just do this. One. Two. Three. And if we want to make Breakthrough disappear, we can take the Owl Hunt. These two cards are probably the scariest. I think we take Breakthrough. And then we can just discard it, maybe. Side entrance is pretty busted on this map. Alright, let's get pouching. So, this, I'm feeling that it's not going to happen because, like I say, we're going to get Australia and we're going to get Asia, so we'll pouch these two. Have the pouch very liberally when you're doing that thing. Selpus Dealum says, first thing I do when I get through the entrance at Spiel is go directly to the Fuelland booth. That booth is going to be absolutely heaving. Do me a favour, right? When you get there and you get to the Fuelland booth, take a picture. I want to see. <laughs> I think it's going to be madness. I think it's going to be absolute madness at their booth, dude. But yeah, please do. Take a picture. I think it's going to be great. Be interesting to see. And they're not accepting pre-orders, man. It's going to be crazy. The problem with this map, and I think it's a massive problem, is if you want to do aquatic park, whatever, you have so little space. You're going to have to commit so early to building a five or something here. Because look, if you want this creature and this creature, well, forget about it. There's no way. It's basically impossible. Um, what are we doing? Mm. Yeah, it's going to be something... I guess we can play this one. I'm not upset about that one, actually. I always play that one down, I guess. The thing we lack, really, is water enclosures, so we'll save that one for the moment.
Wow. Sopper Steelen says that it's their first time going to Essen. But according to Wikipedia, there was 147,000 visitors last year. Uh, four day events. I'm not convinced that everyone's going to be there for the full duration. I'm kind of tempted to build this side entrance here, I'll be honest. I think that would be quite good. I think building it here and trying to put... Actually, we're not going to be able to put a kiosk here. Well, ordinarily, I would put it like this uh, or whatever, but because of the fact we know we're not going to be able to jam a kiosk next to it, it means we can just put it here, the side entrance, or here. I'm thinking here's the best. We have a limited large creature enclosures. Guess we're keeping Rhino space. Bloody Akapi stable. Keep load of rubbish. Just raided with 17 friends. Oh wow. He trade. Geek Punk, thanks so much for raiding. What have you been up to today, Geek Punkers? Hey, yeah. Guys. How are we doing? Massive, massive raid, thank you. What have you been up to? Hmm. I guess we're well ahead on Australia, so we should probably take Asia Handshake. Forest Shuffle. Haven't played that one, is it fun? We were just talking about Essen. Everyone's getting hyped up for it now. I'm not going myself, but... Um, gonna be exciting yes BGA awesome awesome we are currently playing on BGA as well nice geek punk says I won so it was fun yes it's more fun when you win but it's a lot of fun I enjoy getting trolled and beaten by chat just one and a half weeks until Essen forest shuffle was really long how long was it how long is it supposed to be Forest Shuffle sounds... I don't know anything about it, but it sounds like the kind of game that sh shouldn't be that long, <laughs> really. It sounds like a filler, if I'm being honest. Always friendly, says Lance. Lance is... I don't keep my stats, but I'm sure Lance is the person who redeems all of those unfortunate... Channel Point redeems to make my life more difficult. I thought you should all know that VPG wets the bed disgusting. Wait, what? I like the word ordinarily. 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 I do not wet the bed. Guys, it's not true. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Objectively, the best dinosaur is the Brontosaurus. Brontosauruses have the longest neck of any saurus. T-Rex? T-Who? Tell that little bitch to get the hell out of here. Also, are they vegan? Are they fu- I have the longest tail. I have the longest neck. And look how cute I am. Frigging ridiculous, dude. Guys, we're just chilling and playing a bit of Paul Game Arena. If you are interested in seeing some of the Ark Nova Marine Worlds thing, we are going to be doing a little bit of that on Tabletop Simulator. All hail this. the emu. Gonna I check it out, guys. Welcome our new feathery overlord. You have to show appropriate respect to the emu because the feathery overlord does not take fools lightly. They did not suffer the fools. Pouch? Aw, oh, dude. I'm never going to be able to fit this elephant in a pouch. I have planned badly. Let's do Get our cash. Guys, we have 111 money. Is that a lot? I suppose we should probably build, right? 
building jets. Size five. Yeah, unga bunga. I like the phrase unga bunga, but I don't know, it sounds vaguely racist. I'm not convinced that it's a good thing to say. So actually, once we play this elephant, we'll be on five Asia. Well, I don't know if it is or not, but. Build a reptile house as well. Zoo's nearly finished, guys. Side entrance is going to be big money. Well, big points. Five points. This card would be insanely good even without the points at the end, but just getting three points is crazy. I've completely forgotten what I think is. I guess we're not doing naturalist zoo. Oops. I forgot the and I forgot to get the microscopes that I'm supposed to have. It's not correct, is it? So yes, gonna have a bit of marine worlds after this. Now guys... Yeah, side entrance should be more expensive. Yes, it should be at least five, I think. Also, I don't think it should give two money per touching thing. It's a bit too good. Did they... I wonder if they have changed it in the expansion. It's definitely the type of card that needs a little tweak, I would say. What am I doing here? Am I playing the elephant? All hail the elephant. Mm, do I want to draw a card? Can Not we really. the elephant in the room? Can we address the elephant in the room? We could theoretically address the elephant in the room. I'll take a card. Can we address the muskox in the room? Okay, buddy, you go in there. Let's see if we're getting any in-game goals. For context, guys, this player has not played on this website before. So I don't know if they know this game or not. Do we want one of those? We could do Asia. Double association. What? Mm. I guess we could get the other handshake. I don't hate that, to be honest. We're probably fine. Yeah. Let's just get this upgrades finished. What are our options? Large animals. We have one. Is that good? Diverse species. Mm, diverse species is okay. We'll do diverse species. Okay, we can play another card. Pass on playing the second card. We've run out of money, chat. No, we haven't. We've run out of enclosures. Be a card, be stable. You know, this thing is not... This might actually help us to fill out the zoo. Assuming we want to do that. Surely we don't want bloody a card, be stable. One load of jank. Could just associate right now. If we associate now, we can get a free size 3. Are we excited by a free size 3? Bloody hell. We're not, but I'll tell you what we'd like. A whole bunch of cards. Technically, our opponent could end the round, so we'll do this. I'd rather not lose my association worker a second time. Hmm... Well, got a few of these options here. We don't think we need to take size T's. Let's just go ahead and take X's. And we do all that. We're gonna just gonna draw some cards, I think. Anything? Kind of looking for reptiles or Australians. Playable Australians, I should point out. That's a playable Australian. Very nice. We'll all discard a final scoring card now, chat. Hmm. 
Yeah, that could probably go, I would say. Don't think that's what we're doing. And then we'll grab Australia, won't we? Getting there, aren't we? Get our final upgrade. And it is actually... going to be association for once. Ordinarily, we don't upgrade association, but... Uh, sponsors... Yeah, I don't think we're going to need it, are we? Normally, we would get sponsors for more money, but uh, do we need more money? Yeesh. Nah. This way, we might get this worker. We'll see. We are advancing fast on tickets. What with our pouch in, etc, etc. Just going to draw a whole load of cards now. We're done with our workers. Happy for the round to end. Round ends, we're going to get four tickets. So we just draw some cards. Maybe play a couple of animals. See how we go. So guys, talk to me. Who's going to Essen? Apart from Ark Nova Marine Worlds, which obviously is going to be a big talking point. Is anybody looking out for anything else in Essen? Quite exciting, even though I'm not going, I think it's going to be cool. The fact that Marine Worlds is going to drop means that I'm optimistic that it might actually come onto Board Game Marine at some point. I wonder if they've already implemented it. Hello, darling. Psycho says there's a bunch of interesting looking stuff, but nothing I'm overly looking. Nothing I'm overly hyped about. Lance says I've not seen anything on Alpha. Plenty to see. Guys, I'll tell you what, I've been playing Terraforming Mars quite a bit on stream, as you know, and. I think there's a problem with terraforming Mars. I think there's problems with it. Because sometimes in terraforming Mars, the best strategy is not to terraform the planet. But doesn't the game just totally break if nobody's terraforming the planet? Everyone's just playing microbes or whatever. And it's just going to go on for like five hours for a two player game. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Could draw this one potentially. It's a 8 ticket creature. It's not that exciting without an aviary. We'll just draw whatever. Whatever. Petting zoo. It's another pouch worthy one. If we don't find anything good soon, that's not that's all right, I guess. A release project would be kind of good. Can't fit you in. It's terrible. Well, it's a very good thing. Maybe we'll be able to. F maybe we'll be able to find some space for it. So Psycho says the app does not have any info on June yet. Assuming it won't be there. Topper Steel and wanted to try and see the prototype of the new June game at Essen. And Psycho says it might not be there. Lance says maybe check out Arborea from Alley Cat Games. Lance already backed it and it says and says it looks really fun. Maybe able to find good deals on older games. Is there a big bring in by at Essen? I've only been to UK Games Expo. The bring in by there is pretty good, honestly. It's decent, yeah. What are we doing here? I guess we are doing the whole inland Taipan pouching and... I don't know, something else. Fennec Fox, perhaps? That could allow us to get rid of a card. Getting rid of sponsors is uh, pretty nice. We have so much money that we don't need to break. Effectively, breaking is much more something that they need rather than something that we need. No point breaking. 
So we'll play these two. Move sponsors to the bottom. If they want to break, they're going to have to do it themselves. This is our first reptile. Hooray! A reptile! Guys, good news. We will play down a couple of animals. Play this one, it can only go over here. So, over there he goes. Get to do some stuff, get some X tokens. Oh my gosh, guys. Too many X tokens. Ooh, cable car tickets, finally. I guess we pouch. Can't actually play this. Pouch you. Play this one down here to increase our income. As if income is a problem right now. Okay, we get to cards away. Sponsors. Can do a bit of building. Why not? Let's do some building. Could even build a reptile house potentially. I don't really think so though. That is one thing I hadn't considered about the vulture is it does in fact with the lion. The lion's good actually. The vulture does have rocks on it for cable car purposes. We are starting to run out of space though. Probably playing two more pedit peditors? Predators. Probably just play more predators. Hmm. Okay, what can we build? We can build seven. This thing is huge. Especially considering that this is and this and this and this. Especially if we release a thing. Eh, we'll make it so that we can maybe release a thing. Hey, what? I wanted to build for more than that. I did say seven, didn't I? Let's try that once more. Build. Over here. It's not like we have a shortage of X tokens, is it, guys? Okay, draw you again. This is potentially good, but I feel like we lean into predators considering that we have so many already. Put the kiosk down here. We have size ones. Put the size two here. Is so they're going to be three, three, or a four, two? And I think a four, two is better. Alright. Nearly finished our zoo. Wait, wait a minute. What's this? What's this here? I didn't see that. Oops. We have a hole. Uh oh. Dinosaur, put the base in your walk. Neck to tail, let your whole body talk. So sassy. Are we animals in again? Can only play one thing though. Sad. God, this game's over already, nearly. Just playing the line is. Yeah, just playing the line is something. 15 tickets, that's going to put us on 81. If we pouch these things, we associate Australia and it's over. Hmm. Ah, okay. I think what we might need to do here is actually build 
build four right now. Oh, no, five actually, we need to build four. All right. So I guess we associate first. Um, supposed to pouch first in this situation. Pouch, these two. Get all the money. So much money, guys. Crazy. So we'll go ahead and associate Australia. Yeah, I don't think anything. It doesn't really matter what we do. I guess we get more money or another worker. I don't know. Another worker, I guess. Donate. We have 102 money, guys. Quite a lot. So now we build size 4, I suppose. Build size 4 and then animals for 5. Yep. Side entrance plus ice cream parlors is quite something. We've had a game like this before where we got side entrance and ice cream parlors and it was a three break game. There was only three breaks in the whole game on that game. It was really something. I think this is a four or five, but probably four. Guys, if you're new to the stream, if you come in on the raid, the massive geek punk raid. Drop us a follow. Be appreciated. See when we go live next. Going to be online for a little while yet. We'll be go going for another five hours. And is that right? Three o'clock. Yeah. Streaming for five more hours, guys. And then we'll be streaming again on Friday. So 2 p.m. till 8 p.m. UK time, if that means anything to you. Am I going to complete the zoo if I do this? That's going to give me 7 tickets, 8 tickets, 11 tickets. Puts us on 99. Ooh, nifty. That is perfect. Do this. Cool beans, ready to play our two various things. Solpus Dylan says, actually looks like they will have the Anu Naki game there to show. No idea what that is. Assume it's a board game. But you never really know. As Dylan explains. Kickstarter that you checked out. Okay. I think this is one of the highest difficulty level maps, actually. It's certainly... This map on Arc Nova, I mean. It's certainly not too apparent what you should be doing if you're a noob. Not the most straightforward map to figure out. Once you have figured out what you're doing... Yeah, it's a very, very strong map. Extremely fast.
didn't acquire that many tickets from the cable car in the end, but it did help us do an early research, which was important. Uh, when I say research, what I mean is conservation project. <laughs> we also hello, did darling. research. Good golf. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, my lovely, my lovely lizard. Yeah, this map, if you can traverse fast, it's really very strong. We drew into the side entrance in this game. Let's finish this game out, guys. Play down this one. And play down the line. I, for one, am vaguely scared of our lion overlord. 16 points? 14? 14 points. 14 points. Lion is nothing if not scary. So, we have research. We didn't even get one point on that, but diverse species we did okay on. And the main point is that if you get enough points quickly enough, it doesn't matter what endgame scoring your opponents have, endgame cards they have, if you are fast enough to get the points that you need to get in this game, it'll be game over. GG. I find it interesting when you see people playing like one or two games of Ark Nova or Board Game Geek, they say, oh, you know, it's a super slow game, we're playing like a two-player game, three-player game, and it's taking three or four hours. And it's such a slow game. Like any game, it gets faster when you know what you're doing, and in reality, it's a race. You're not if you're dirtling around, you're not being efficient enough with your actions. Ultimately, it's a puzzle on action efficiency. You want to be doing as much as you can, as fast as possible, and in as few turns as possible. Because it's not like terraforming Mars, where there's a common goal to terraform the planet, no. When you get 100 points, game ends. So, in that sense, you're just trying to be as efficient as you can, get as many points as fast as possible. And... For that reason, trying to maximize your efficiency as much as you can. Alrighty, so we end the game with some extra end game scoring, but not too important in the end. It's going to be noteworthy to see the income difference. Yeah. Twice the money over the course of the game, more than twice the points. GG to our opponents. I suspect it actually genuinely was their first game. We will end the YouTube video there, lovelies. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you for the next one.